All right, hey, that was kind of smooth. <laughs> uh, train with me, smoothing out your stroke. I, uh, I was trying to just start with something. I didn't really know what to do for the smooth stroke, but I thought, well, maybe I'll do a draw shot because I'll chip it off the table because uh, classic me, I usually chip it off the table or miss cue or something. So I wanted to start with something as, as you know, a little difficult so <laughs> that maybe I could have that in play. So, but I smoothed it in, I actually hit it good. That's the first shot I hit. I really like coming in cold on these. Ever since the first one I did, um, I come in cold. And the reason why I come in cold is because I want to have a little bit of struggle if I can. And so I purposely come in cold for you guys so that uh, it's not curated, it's not anything, I'm not warmed up. I just, we all struggle when we play, we all struggle when we are training and I wanna go through that struggle live for you guys and in, in, in so that you can watch it and see, hey, this, this dude struggles too and this is how he gets through his struggle. So uh, I'm not struggling, yay. But uh, let's talk about smoothing out your stroke. So I've been doing a ton of training here. I had uh, my Chinese members, uh, they're all nationals. They are students and prof like PhD guys and awesome dudes. There's about a half dozen and we did a special class for them. And one of them, uh, shout out Dr. Tong, dude's awesome. He was really fast. Like, so when he was down in the ball, he was coming down, you know, like this. And, 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 and I was like, we just need to smooth them out, okay? And I played that way for many, many years. I was just a lot of energy, just like tension and energy and just tight and everything. And I'd come down and I, I wasn't even thinking about it. I'm just like, you know, kind of getting down and getting ready to shoot. And that can work uh, if you uh, start when you're 13 and play, you know, 10 hours a day. <laughs> it can work. It can scale up for you. But really who I'm working with and what we're working with at the club and what I'm working with right now in my game is I'm 51 years old. I don't have time to hit, the, I've hit my 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000 shots, but I don't really have time to continue that. So if I wanna go from where I'm at to where I wanna be, I need to start getting better and smarter and, and, and uh, more efficient with my game. And part of that improvement is on the mechanics, biomechanics, all that stuff, but it's also on being smoother, right? And so part of the reason why you wanna be smooth and part of the benefit of being smooth is that it can calm you down, okay? So when I train to be smoother with my stroke, there's also like a overall meta strategy of trying to calm myself down when I'm playing, okay? And be more loose. So, so smoothing out's very important. Okay, so we're gonna talk about that. And I wanna talk really quick about tension. Okay, real quick, before we talk about smooth, in order to be smooth with our stroke, we have to understand where we're at from a tension standpoint. Okay, so I talk a lot about being soft and being loose in your stroke. We did the two finger thing to really loosen up the tension. Uh, so basically, in a nutshell, the takeaway that I want you guys to go away with is, this is your tension point, your bridge. Okay, you can have some tension in your bridge because you, you don't want your bridge to be super loose like this for your cue. So you do want some tension in there. So when I'm teaching beginners, I'm teaching people that are intermediate and they're trying to tighten up their game. We talk a lot about the bridge and how to get a little tension in your bridge uh, and be comfortable with that. And maybe you might need to wear a glove to kind of make it go through smooth. I don't wear a glove. I have a carbon fiber. I know a lot of people find it to be sticky. I, I don't. Um, Maybe if I'm nervous, it might, I might have a glove or something or it's hot in the room or something. But, but in general, uh, I want that nice, tight bridge most of the time and stability, right? And that tension here is fine. Now, your ten tension here, everything back there is just like jello loose, man. Like you want stability in your base. You want everything at the right arm angle, all those, all those like biomechanics correct. Uh, your 90, you want this, not like this. You want it straight up and down. You want your 90 at the hit point. All those things that we talked about before, but they have to be in those hitting positions loose, okay? And so when they're loose, it's gonna help us deliver through with the, with the, uh, the, the most force at the cue ball, things like that. We can really load the ball. The looser we are, the more power we can generate at a, at a lot less, lesser pace, but also it's gonna allow us to be smooth. Okay, and smooth is about pulling back and going through. So when you're getting down, 
on the ball and you're shooting your shot, the way to practice smooth is there's a couple things that I do. I come down, I have my pre-shot routine, I got everything, we're gonna skip through that. I come down to the ball and I stop like this when I'm practicing, okay? I haven't made a move yet. I'm just doing my aim thing. And now if I'm practicing, I'll come back and through and back and through and back and accelerate through, okay? So that's just a way to practice slowing it down. Because watch, when I see people and they don't really know what I, what, what I just did and they're just coming in and trying to hit balls and I'm teaching them, I'll say, okay, address the cue ball. And they'll come down and they're kind of like this and kind of fidgety and kind of getting their thing and they come down and, and then they're like this, right? And it's like, you can't turn this into just a pause smooth through. <laughs> you, so what I'm saying is we want to think about coming down and everything is based on being calm. Calm leads to smooth, loose leads to smooth, loose leads to calm. We connect all those pieces within our game and within our thought process. When we come down, we're down, we're calm, we're at the ball and we're delivering through soft and through and soft and through and soft and accelerate okay so i've done that enough times we don't need to do that anymore okay so we talked about smooth we talked about soft we talked about loose we talked about a little tension now what i want to talk about is a little bit about um stroke length excuse me so stroke length so here we go when we're down on the ball one way to understand how to smooth out your stroke is understand how the length of your stroke affects your stroke and the power that you have in the stroke. So if I'm going to draw this ball back, um, like a good foot, if I put my bridge down at this length and I draw all the way back, I have to really figure out my speed, like the pace of my stroke in order to only hit it back to this point right here. So if I pull it all the way back, it's like, it's very hard to control my speed. I gotta control the speed of my, uh, the, the power that I hit it with, okay? So I'm having to hit like this, this almost a decelerating stroke when I pull back that far. And then I have to strike the ball very accurately and match it all up. But one way to, and that can be really herky-jerky, right? So if I'm here and I'm down, and I have this herky-jerky stroke and it's really long and I pull it back. See how I'm doing this and I'm just kind of getting in here like this and I'm gonna hit it a foot. It's like, it's really hard to like take that and then turn it into a shot, you know? So it's like, yeah, I can hit it like that and that's what people will do with that stroke. They'll have that result. Hit it to exactly where I said I wanted to hit it to, but there's so many things going on. It's not very repeatable. There's a lot of movement. It's, there's a lot of eye movement, there's a lot of Q tip tip moving on the thing. It's not about striking it accurately or smooth. It's a it's just a timing thing. And when we have to figure out timing on all of those elements of where the tip is at, the the speed at which we're putting it through, all those things, that's a lot different timing than trying to figure out your timing for the one timing thing, which is the timing of when your hand is at its peak for 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 uh, power. So I'm trying to keep my timing issues down to like one thing versus all those things have to come together and time out. So then if you're distracted and you're at league or you're playing a tournament and you're nervous, all those timing things, when your brain's flooded with other information, it's very hard to get repeatable results. And so when I talk to people like, I have no idea, I was just spraying the ball over the place and I was really playing bad. And one of the reasons why is because the repeatability of their stroke is too many timing things going on and they're hitting obviously the ball too hard and all those things, but, but it's, it's trying to get all those timing things to come together, right? So what I'm saying is you have less timing issues. You have calmer, softer stroke, striking, everything. If you can just use the length of your stroke to determine the distance that it's going to come back and the power that you're going to deliver. So if I hit that same shot versus where I was just at, and I calm down, come down, calm down. Yeah, exactly. Come down. And then I just shoot instead of back here and having to change my, the, you know, decelerate and kind of slow my hand down, my stroke down. If I just pull it back a little bit and hit it through, well, I get a bunch of power on it. I barely touched it. I accelerated through on a shorter, shorter, like a 
It's not a stabby stroke, it's not a shorter stroke, but a more compressed stroke distance wise because we don't want to pull it back and stab it. We don't want this, you know, like that. We want to, to, to understand when we're training because that's where they're train with me, right? We want to train this and we want to train having the stroke come back shorter and then accelerate like that, which is different than pulling it back and jabbing it forward. So I'm just trying to give you guys some of the things that I work on and some of the ways that I look at this and some of the ways I develop getting more consistency in these shots. Okay, my guy Jonathan here, the videographer, he asked me a question. So he was talking about pulling the bridge back to get the length of the stroke different. And what I was explaining is that it's not, the bridge can stay in the same position. You're just, your tip, your, your uh, length of your stroke is less. So I'm not pulling back here and shooting through, I'm pulling back here and shooting through, right? So it's a little shorter stroke without um, jabbing it. So does that make sense? He's nodding, yes. <laughs> okay, good. So one way to do it is I do this with, I do this in training, okay? I pull this here, okay? Because because I'm let's say I'm in a training session. This happened last week, and dudes are just ripping and hitting soft and ripping and trying to hit it soft. And I'm like, no, we need to, we need to compress that stroke so that we can control this pace more, and co we control the, the 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 speed of the not the speed but like the power of the stroke by going either harder or softer or shorter, okay, or longer. So if a person has this stroke here and they're pulling back here past that chalk and they're going through, this is too big of a stroke to, 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 to pull it back to here. It's not necessary. You don't need all that power. So what I'm seeing is people pull it here and see they're already past it because they just want to get past it. So I'm, I'm training people and I'm saying, okay, stop. And it's like, okay, I didn't stop on it. So I'm going here, stop, here, stop, go, here, stop, here, stop, here, stop, stop. And I pull it back and I miss the shot. doesn't matter, but I was just working on that. Uh, and that thing. So that's, that's what I'm talking about as far as like how to shorten up your stroke to control distance. And that's a thing that'll help you smooth it out. Because if, if, you have your, if you have your stroke all the way back here, it's harder to smooth out a stroke like this when I'm trying to hit it soft to only pull it back six inches. You know, that's, that's harder to smooth out. It's easier to smooth that stroke out that I just hit by just pulling it back a shorter distance, boom. Boom, boom, like that. That's a way more repeatable, predictable, and smooth stroke. So these are like the concepts or the ideas or things that I'll practice if I'm in here. So if I wanna smooth my stroke out, I will work on the length of my stroke. I will work on being still in my body, folding into the shot, having my cue still like that at the shot, okay? Not a bunch of movement. Pull back, through, calm, pull back, through, calm, pull back, accelerate, okay? And so that's where the smoothness comes in. And notice it wasn't, find your spot, find your spot. Okay, now move your head, now come back, now do this, now find your, see all that jabbing and stuff? That's not smooth. It, and it's like, I, I'm repeating myself, but it's like, just practice at the ball, pull back, smooth at the ball, pull back, smooth. And so when I'm playing, I'm in the middle of a game, okay, and I'm shooting a nine ball for the cheddar, and I'm trying to stay smooth, and I'm trying to stay calm, and I'm trying to have the right thing going on. I have a little tension in my hand. I'm calm back here, I'm soft. I do my whole pre-shot routine. I get there, I come in. This is smooth and soft, just like this is the way. I'm not pumping like this. That's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to repeat my process and visualize my process beforehand. There's not big pump strokes. I'm not big uh, back and forth, quick little jabs. I'm trying to stay calm, trying to stay smooth, trying to stay light and send it through. So that's it. So when I get down and I'm training and I'm practicing, train with me. And, and it, one of the things I wanted to hit on is, and I probably said it, but I'm gonna say it one more time because it's very important. When we go through our routine, like this routine here, we need to be coming through at a very similar pace to how we're going to stroke the ball. We develop the habit to come down. So I'm doing this. I'm not doing this. You know, I used to do this. I used to do this. I'd walk around the table and I'd just be pumped up and I'd be like, 
you know, doing this. And it's like, no, it's not, that doesn't scale. That, that can work, but you have to play a ton of pool to time all that stuff out and to deal with all that stuff. Really, when you're playing, you know, now I'm breathing. I actually let my stomach kind of hang a little bit. And I'm like, Ugh, instead of being all tense. And then I come down and do my process. But what my process is, one of my processes is to be smooth like this and to be calm. And when, when I come down like this, I'm going to repeat the same stroke on the ball. So just like before, I'm down like this, like this, send it through. Now I'll show you what I don't want you to do because I don't think it's necessary. I think there should be some flow to it, okay? So what I don't think is good, potentially, if this is your type of personality, then, then do this, of course. So when I'm playing a match that's important, you know, making these changes, I am trying to be not mechanical at all. So when I see people that come through and they're like this, and they're down like this, and they're like this, and they're like this, this does not look relaxed, this does not look you know, smooth, and then I come back like this, and then I hit it like this, and then I pause, and then I hit it through. It's like, yeah, see, you miss the ball every time you do that. Uh, I just don't think that that's optimal. I think that it needs a little more flow than that, and it's okay to be a little mechanical when you're practicing, and I am more mechanical now than I've ever been, but when I have to go and the, the, the pressure and the money's on the line, I got to be in my, my secondary mind. I got to be in my subconscious. If I'm too much in my conscious, which I have been because I'm making these changes, it's fine. It's just, it's, it's just, it's just difficult, right? So I want to show you guys or talk to you guys about that too. It's just at the end, the smoothness, you're going to have to get a little more mechanical to get smooth, but then you're going to have to find your way back to flow state more. And that's your journey. And maybe we'll do another video on that someday, but that's my journey that I'm at right now because I'm a 714 and I don't want to be a 714 the rest of my life. I'm 51 years old. I've been there. I've done that. I want to go further. I want to go, from, I want to be better, you know, with my game. And so, uh, I'm willing to disrupt my flow to make these improvements and to get smoother. I need to get a little herky jerky for a while. And when the herky jerky is done, hopefully the smooth guy will be there. And when the smooth guy's there with more of a flow, then uh, you better watch out. Because <laughs> I'm going to be hurting feelings and be a handful for people. So let's do that and let's have you do that. And we'll do that together. We'll be together doing this. And that's what's important. So of course, I love you guys. I love that you watch these things. I love that you support the channel. You support the club. You have great feedback for me. And I absolutely am thankful and it means the world to me. And many, many people tell me how wonderful everything is that we're doing. And all I can say is I'm doing it for you. And um, it means the world to me personally that, that people enjoy this. And so thank you for watching and hit me with, with any questions. So thank you for watching. Talk to you next time. Bye.